Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play UFO 2 Extraterrestrials. We're uh, attacking this landed battle cruiser, and we found two new alien types. Well, one new alien type, the Eternals. Which I'm guessing are gonna be the last sort of alien? Or maybe they'll have like hardened versions or something like that. But yeah, they are psionic aliens, so that should be quite interesting. Why are you here? What? I thought I put people in a more sense of... Oh, yeah, because I've already got people here. Never mind. Um, right. What to do? We've got a bunch of people everywhere. We haven't checked this area yet, but I kind of doubt it will have aliens. You know what? Fine. Let's check it. Just in case. Hello? No aliens? No. Uh, next. One big fat guy. He's gonna wobble over here. And over here. And then stay on guard. We got so many people. I don't even know if it's worth moving anyone else. Uh, maybe you? So we can check this area, perhaps? Again? <laughs> Spock. Yeah, just go up here. Make sure there's no nasty aliens around. Right, we'll uh, we'll check next turn. I'm just gonna end the turn for now. See what happens, because there should be like, well, that's gonna be bad if they don't kill it now. But I think that could. Nice, more people firing. Nice, excellent. I heard like a unminol um, or whatever. Oh, a rider. Okay, that makes sense. Um, let's have Yamak kill this one with a single shot, which will probably not gonna be enough. Yep, as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you expect them to die always from a single shot, they will not die from a single shot. That's pretty funny, but oh well. Not a big deal. There's still more. Still more aliens. Okay, you're gonna get over here. I wonder if this is a hole where you can jump down. Now they Oh. What oh okay, that's how it is. Um, the problem is, there's so many little nooks and crannies here. Okay, we gotta be a little bit more careful. Dara. We want to get that, um, if there's another commander here, we want to get it alive. Hello, that's a turret. Ugh. Looking at us. Bean boy. Let's go this way. I mean, the turret is not an issue here. Um, what we're really looking for, uh, for is aliens. So if there's an alien here, that should be quite interesting. Uh, I think that's enough for now. What else have we not checked? This area here, I suppose. Oh, there's a whole building up there. Um, hmm. Maybe I should check that. Yeah, go over here. I don't know if there's a elevator there, but... Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, he must have dropped down here. Somewhere. I don't know. Whatever it is. Hopefully this is the last one. See, good thing I actually... Um, Use auto shot. Universe Antimatter is now a warrant officer. So Megatra Commander and Eternal Commander. Nice. Excellent. So we've got two commanders here. Uh, max, Max, unfortunately. So strength, you already have the positronic armor, so we'll give you more vitality for now. Okay, now let's see that research. It's a good thing I let that thing land. I mean, they would still probably have a <laughs> the fuel. They would still probably have, um, uh, you know, the other stuff available. What am I talking about? They would still have the Eternal Commanders probably in there, even if we uh, destroyed that UFO or made it crash land. But yeah, so far so good. Alien Battle Cruiser Construction Polar League. Hmm. Well, they're going to be firing immediately, so let's send these guys in case it doesn't want to stop there. Let's immediately start shooting at it. Oh, they're all gonna fire at the same time? Oh, there was no sound to it. Excellent. 
for that. <laughs> so much damage going on. Right. Off you go back to base. You're gonna land maybe before taking that damage? No, you're gonna take that damage. Crashed. Return to base, and I suppose we. No, you know what? It's gonna be. It's gonna be nighttime. Look at that. Everyone has bombs now. <laughs> It's gonna be nighttime, and I think it would disappear just before we would get it the next day. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. So how's the research progressing? Uh, 89% already. Nice. Let me save, of course. One to four. All right, here we go. Passive mind shield. <clears throat> oh wow, that's like a lamp. The Eternals are an alien race that has slowly grown in prominence and power as new worlds have been subjugated and newly conquered races have entered into the society, uh, the society as the lowliest of castes. The most ancient of these races, uh, races hold the most important secrets, secrets which stem from the earliest beginnings of the alien empire, which have been shrouded in mystery for eons. The whole body of the Eternal is rather vulnerable, so it is encased in a heavy, triple layer protective mantle which hovers with an anti-gravitational unit. The mantle resists all forms of mu munition more or less equally. Neither extreme heat nor extreme cold significantly harms it. The best results so far have been reached with positronic weapons. The Eternals have extraordinary de uh, extraordinarily developed mental abilities so they can paralyze our soldiers fairly easily. Okay. Nothing against stuns or psionics. That's kind of weird, actually. Yeah, they got a lot of mechanical protection, but I thought we kill them fairly easily with the uh, with the ammunition. Passive mind shield. I was kind of hoping we would get actual psionics now, not just a shield. Lots of stuff going on. Okay. Um, let's send these guys here. Where are you going? Polar League. Send these guys here. And then aircraft carrier, this one here. And then these two here. And I think that's it for now. Well, it's not it yet. There's more coming. Jeez. Light alien cruiser. Lots of stuff going on. Yeah, just come closer to the base. It's gonna be fun. Bombard. Oh, we'll do that later. Bombard. We'll do that later. Oh, no. You're still firing that one. We'll get that one now. Okay. Good. Retaliation. Ah. Oh, shoot. What is that? Alien massive patrol vessel. Oh, frickin' hell. Okay, that uh, changes things a little bit. Where are these guys? Oh, we're going there. That could be bad. Turn around. We'll have to tickle it later. I don't know what kind of damage these guys can do. Uh oh. Actually already going there. I think we might be able to stop this one. Okay, what kind of damage are we looking at here? Let's uh, let's bring it down here. So which one is this one? This one? And it missed. And what now? Now it hit. Ouch! That hurts. Okay, you guys need to get the hell out of there. That hurts. For now, we're gonna keep close to the base. Hopefully take that one out. Yeah, that's, oh, that's running away. That's annoying. Oh, where are they? Wait. Oh, they went for it again? That's not good. Well, it's not firing again. Uh, I think it's gonna get there. It would be nice if it would crash land, but I think they're gonna destroy it over water. Very fast. Alien massive patrol vessel. Well, we're gonna get that one then. Holy moly, we actually did destroy it. Okay, that one and that one. Actually, you guys can go and destroy that one. Oh, 
still have that. We're gonna run out of fuel. Uh, where did we say this one was going? African Coalition. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you can stop firing your positronic weapons in that one. You need... You need bombs. Oh, it's coming closer. I don't like it. Oof. And these guys are okay on health. Excellent, the, the base is firing upon it. Ouch! Come on. Yeah, that hurts. Those hurt. Quite a bit. Okay, now let's try to keep him there. He's going for that one. Okay, the undamaged one. Miss. Okay, that's enough. These guys are going back to base. Let's go destroy this one. These guys are running out of... What's going on? Are they running out of fuel? Or why are they turning around? Probably running out of fuel. Uh, this thing is almost destroyed. Go back. Land. 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 You gotta land now. Well, I mean, it's okay. It's not too bad. Nope, you're not gonna be following it. Come on, land, land, that's gonna hit. Okay, these guys are going back. That was destroyed. Excellent. These guys are out of fuel. So, I mean, I, maybe I would want that one to land. Lots of UFOs everywhere. Let's destroy this. Yeah, let's wait for it. I mean, it's gonna get destroyed by the base. Oh, we're gonna shoot it down. Which one is it going for? Oh, that's loud. No, return to base. We're gonna clean this up now. Actually, no. Go and shoot these ones down. Okay, I gotta save, because usually the game likes to crash after a lot of UFOs and then sending the Pegasus out. So this one, eh? Okay, uh, Chemical Life, let's get you that mortar. I think it's gonna be quite useful. do lose a few, but you should be fine. Uh, right, we should also have some more positronic armor available, I would say. Uh, this is going to be a problem, because it's quite a lot heavier. Oh yeah, let's try. Unam. And get the positronic armor. There we go. Lovely. Chemical life. Positronic armor. Let's get you some positronic armor. There we go. Don't need that for now. And that's it. Wow. Practically, well, not practically everyone, but a lot of people now have positronic armor. I like it. Uh, let's give you a sludge. Oh. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I think I would rather give him a sludge suit, to be honest, because ice doesn't really seem to be that horrible. Chemical stuff does. Nice. Private poobles. Really need to uh, level up that strength. Oh yeah, let's make sure that everyone has the shields required. We really need to make more shields. Uh, you only want lose two action points. That's pretty nice. That thing is very, very good. Almost like you. Uh, 
yeah, we could put a shield here. There we go. <laughs> Have more shields. Uh, that's good. That's good. That is good. Very, very good. Okay, I think we're good. Launch. So, a UFO we haven't seen yet. Interesting. Begin. Obviously, it's going to have some commanders as well, which we can zap. Just in case we need more of them. Okay, it's this map. I don't actually mind this map as long as it's not the... Um, as long as it's not the mining map. I really dislike those because they are so convoluted. So where's the entrance? We can go up there, but the main entrance should be this way. Still nothing, huh? Usually we would see aliens here by now. But this is not the case here. Interesting. Go, go, go. Coke bottle. You're on the front lines with that heavy disruptor thing. That thing is really, really very powerful. Crystal is going to go up here. Upstairs. But we're going to do that next turn. Because I don't necessarily... Well, we can take a peek. Okay. Oh, just a bone setter. I don't think you have enough to fire. No. So we're going to wait with that. Until next turn. Yamek is going to help you. Now we got Mishek. Just going to check these doors here. And one big... Oh. What did you spot? Oh. One of these guys. But you've got two things. Uh, and we don't want it to do reaction fires. So we're hopefully... Be able to hit it with one big fat guy. I think the building is in the way. Uh, no, it's not, but the the pipes are in the way. And this is pretty long range. Uh, Fucking hell! Come on. Uh, okay, now we can actually fire at it. Uh, now when we're out of action points. So, Fireburn. I think Fireburn is pretty accurate, isn't he? Shooting 98 as opposed to... One big fat guy with 89, yeah. There's quite a difference, unfortunately. Oh, you're being blocked. Crouch. Let's see the accuracy. 68 is pretty darn good. Uh, I said pretty darn good. Fire burn. <sighs> oh, that's still being blocked by this little piece because we moved too far forward. Ah. <laughs> Come on. You've got to be kidding me. Alright. I want Spock. Uphold the honor. Crouch and take it out. 69. That's always a good number. So go, go, go. Rock and roll. Nice. And excellent. And there's a turret there, which I don't suppose we can actually hit. We do have a uh, chemical life, so we should be fine. Unless you're going to spot it now. Ugh. Never mind. It spots us. Ow. Uh, chemical life is all the way back there. So let's move Bean Boy out of the way. And then get Chemical Life. To have a bit of fun. There, out of range. Uh, okay, is that in range? That is indeed in range. Boom. I think she'll be fi able to fire again. Ah, that didn't do it yet. Damn it. Oh no, she won't be able to do it again. But... We should be able to simply fire one more time, ish, and destroy it. How's that all? Oh yeah, because of that tree. There we go. How's that still? How does a turret fire upon us? All right, fine. Let's destroy that thing and hopefully reach the turret. God, you've got to be... Uh. 
Can us can somebody please just fire and hit this thing? Bean boy should be out, exactly. Bean boy, take it out. 72%. You really cannot miss such a big target. There you go. Nice. Alright. Grand loser grandiose. Universe and time matter. I can go and support these guys. Or just blow through the wall here, I suppose. Never mind. This went out in one go. I thought it was going to take a little bit, but nope. I thought he would only take parts of it away. <laughs> Oops. Guess we're going through there then. I'll just go here, actually. Uh, wreck EGG. There's these doors there as well. And Gara. And then Kyle can join these guys. That oh, would be nice if he could fire, but yeah. No way. Oh, well, let's see what happens. He probably has AoE. Or, well, he didn't spot us, which is good. It's a massive patrol vessel, so it's even worse than a battle cruiser, I guess. It's certainly fast. It certainly does a lot of damage. Where did that bone setter go? Huh. Okay, let's take that thing out first. That creep. Uh, okay, better. You still. You just need like a couple of shots. One if lucky. Very nice. Right, let's check those doors. Hello? Anyone here? Ah, control troll. Let's go in there. As per usual, we'll just blow through those walls here uh, to go to the UFO. And in fact, you're going to be doing that because you have the zapper. So you'll be here at the ready. And Coke Bottle will also join you. Because she's got the heavy ammunition. Well, heavy weapons. Grand Loser is going to go upstairs. And check if there's any nasty aliens around. Uh, yeah, like this, I suppose. Anyone? Not for the moment, it seems. Hmm. Okay, Yamik is going to go up here. And should be able to spot that uh, bone setter. There we go. We're also going to be careful about more turrets. Uh, oh, it's down there. Uh, we're being blocked by that wall, I think. Still. There we go. Should be able to take it out with this ammunition. There we go, one shot. <laughs> Bone setters ain't what they used to be. That's for damn sure. Let me check. We've got the zapper as well, which means we need to be in the UFO. Um, yeah, I think that would be good. Jump down here. And expose yourself to all aliens, but I couldn't resist using zero APs to fall, <laughs> which might be a mistake. We'll see. All right, I think we should actually get people ready here to uh, get into the UFO because I don't think there's a lot more there. So we're just gonna get ready for a breach here. Never said time matter. Come upstairs. You see the tur okay, turret over there. Oh no! I didn't realize he was already at zero. Ah, oh, darn it. He might get shot at. Might not. Um, if I shoot at it with chemical life, it's probably going to turn to see what shot at it and see our guy there. Unless we destroy it in one shot. Oop. 
No, 91. Darn it. And now it got pissed at. <laughs> Poor little universe antimatter here. Oh well. Unless. No, there's way too much crap in the way here. 70 to get up here. There's no way we can take a shot. And 29, we're already out. Would be able to otherwise, but not enough action points. Uh, that sucks. Uh, that is tech suck. These only take one shot to destroy. Oh, I'm surprised. Wreck EGG. Actually, you stand. No, there's this stuff in the way, unfortunately. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, no! Look at that! <gasps> you can actually hit it. 87 as well. <laughs> nice, you're saving your buddy. There we go. Nicely done, Wreck EGG. Car is also gonna go this way. Get ready for that breach. Alright. End the turn. Alright, and in other news, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this. I know I always say that, but I worry. You know, it is a long let's play. It is pretty grindy. Oh, I think I heard the eternal move. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. A big, big thank you to my Patreons. If you'd like to become a Patreon yourself, you can do so by clicking down the link uh, down below. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, and bye-bye.